So let's start by taking a look at designing a kick drum sound. I'm going to start from scratch. So under the quick start tab here, I'm going to load in this init massive x blank. If I play notes right now, we're not going to hear anything because as you can see here in the routing tab, nothing is connected. Let's connect this oscillator 1 to this monophonic area here. And now we hear the sawtooth tone from oscillator 1. A sawtooth is not ideal for designing a kick drum. We want something with a lot less harmonics. So let's go with the sine wave. That's a lot better. But you'll notice an inconsistency in the attack of the sound. Sometimes you hear a pop and sometimes it's very clean. That's because the oscillator is in free run mode. Let's set it to reset on every note start. So now it's a lot more consistent. All right, let's now tweak the envelopes. Let's start with the amp envelope. I don't want to have any attack and any sustain. And DK, I'll tweak to taste. Same for the release. We can come back to these parameters later on. Now the sound is good, but it's very, very mellow. We need some punch in the sound. So we will create that by using an exciter envelope to modulate the pitch of the oscillator. So I'm going to drop E3 onto the pitch over here. I could also drop it on this master pitch here, since we're only using one oscillator. But I'll just drop it here. It's going to sound exactly the same. I'll increase the modulation amount by a large value, let's say 28 semitones. Let's make this a unipolar envelope. So it only works in the positive domain. Ratio I want high and center all the way to the left so there's no attack. No hold at all. So it's essentially a pluck shaped envelope. Jumps up to the highest value and comes down really quickly. Sounds like a tom right now. What if I shape that release? Curve it downwards. Pretty good. What if I bring the ratio down a bit? There you go. There's that kick drum sound. Now it's just a matter of enhancing this. Let's add in some effects. In the routing tab, I'll route this through insert effect A and plug that back in here. Disconnect this cable so we don't end up doubling up the sound. Let's add a distortion effect here. A bit too much. Let's tone down the drive. And also tone down the mix. Let's add some more distortion from here. The non-linear lab is a distortion effect. Switch out from hard clip to soft clip. Bring down this high pass pre. Bring down the drive. Not bad. One final effect, an equalizer. I want to brighten some of the high frequencies. And boost some of the lows. Alright, now let's try tweaking the amp envelope, decay and release. I kind of like it tight like this. Nice tight kick drum sound like that. Increase the master level here. Alright, so there you go. That's how to design a kick drum sound from scratch in Massive X. I'll go ahead and save this. Alright, more drum sound design in the next tutorial.